Alex, it's great to meet you. Thank you so much for your time today. Pleasure. I really enjoyed the movie. Um, how was it that you originally found the story to then adapt it into the movie? Well, it was based on a book called um, Zion Check for President, which we felt should be the title of the movie. That, you know, it just captured the whole thing, Zion Check for President. Actually, it was the strangest title I'd ever read, um, um, <laughs> based on a very obscure politician in Seattle. Um, so the book was cheap to get. Um, <laughs> so, so that was the first ticket. That was the first thing right yeah. there for grassroots. You don't want to spend much on optioning it. Um, but it was a wonderful kind of book uh, uh, about two slacker dudes who should not be getting involved with politics as far as anyone is concerned. You know, we all feel the elite should, should run our country, or some people do. Um, um, and I love the idea that in the story you watch these two characters um, bump up against you know what people think is really really difficult and really begin to make it work and start to grow up and have a great relationship with each other and it's funny um, but it's also really about grassroots politics which applies anywhere in the world I mean I've been realizing that more and more it's specific to Seattle um, which is a kind of wonderful city um, but it ultimately is about the process of democracy which which fascinates me it's both one of the most important things we have I think in fact it probably is um, in many ways, people are prepared to die for it in parts of the world, but it's also damn funny. Mm -hmm. And um, and so in all of that, it felt like it was going to make an interesting movie. Yeah, yeah. And Jason, your character is brilliant in the film. What, how did, was that what attracted you to it? Was it this, this funny story that needed to be told? Yeah, well, I, I really, um, I, I thought the script was just really well written, and I thought it was a uh, a really interesting little story. I thought, you know, it, uh, it, it felt very specific, but also very universal at the same time. And, uh, and you know, it's a, it's a real sort of underdog David versus Goliath kind of story that, that I really connected to. And particularly with this character, I just thought, um, you know, for me, the most glaring thing right away was that it would be something different and I would need to, it would be a challenge. And, you know, it's... Uh, it, it's difficult at times for me, given my resume, to, to find uh, uh, filmmakers that are, are willing to um, get behind me and, and trust that I can take on something else. And Stephen uh, was that guy more than anyone else in my, in my career. And he, uh, he Which didn't take much. To see. First of all, just working with you right away, felt it. Also, you have a long, long history. I mean, there are there's certain aspects of the resume that, you know, the, the American uh, <clears throat> pie part of it, but there's a long, long history. And, you know, I think, to be honest, um, and I'm going to be your agent here a little bit <laughs> for all the directors in England, you know, and a very complex, wonderful uh, actor who has a tremendous amount of craft. And it's very funny, which particularly in drama, and there's a good amount of drama in grassroots as well, is critical. I think more and more, uh, the longer I do this, you need comedy um, in, uh, in, in drama. Yeah. You know. Well, that's going to be one of my questions, actually. So you, I've not read the book, but how funny is the book? And was this always going to be a comedy <laughs> film? or was it? Oh, and how did you set the tone between that comedic and the drama side of things? Um, the book was not funny. It was just Zion check for president. Can, yeah, that is funny, it. but it, it, it wasn't it, meant to be. Funny. Wasn't meant to be funny. Um, actually, Zion check, who was this politician in Seattle in the 1930s, and was a kind of crazy person, which sort of, in some ways, captured Grant Cogswell. Um, killed himself. Killed in the himself. End. <laughs> not the funniest way to end a movie. And also, this whole reference to the 30s wasn't going to work. Either. He was wearing a clown suit when he killed himself, though. <laughs> that's, and that's true. That's yeah. true. That's 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 that. That was actually what we added in. The, we added that. We yeah. added that. He was, yeah. But but um, uh, no, it wasn't funny. Um, and you know, someone who hasn't been spoken about much is is the co-writer on this, who who worked early on, Justin Rhodes, um, uh, and uh, was my assistant actually. And I said, let's play around with this. And he played around. And he wrote a scene that keyed it off as being funny for me. And that, that's and that scene was the scene when you get fired at the beginning. It never changed, ever. I mean, a lot, most of the rest of it did. But, but it keyed it off as being sort of really a funny, funny piece. Um, and, and, from, and, and it just slowly unfolded that way. And I, and I find myself loving comedy. I mean... Um, but also loving drama and the two of them mixing and the movie is really trying to weave those two things together so that you do laugh and you do cry which is 
um, which is interesting. And you mentioned earlier Goliath, who had also was interesting in the story, in the book, was that Goliath was more complex than just a bad guy. So, and politics is that way, you know, it's, it is about compromise and negotiation and understanding the other side. And I think that's a big piece of what I think the film is ultimately trying to do, which is both with drama and with comedy go, you don't want to look at the other side as evil and, and your enemy. You want to kind of consider that maybe this is another person that's involved with democracy and interested. It may not have your point of view, but you want to kind of ultimately work together. So there's a real divide in the United States right now and here. And to sort of bridge that, the film is trying to do with some laughter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, it starts off brilliantly with the polar bear, as mm -hmm. you can see in the poster behind. Jason, did you get to wear the polar bear outfit at all? Like, oh, God, you, no. you didn't put it on? No, God. I mean, actually, oh no, that was for our additional footage. Yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. But look around. at, but you know, oh no, actually, no, you were. That's right, he's where you, wait a second, how did it work? I, I, I never put, I think I might have had it on my oh, head yeah, at one yeah, point. Yeah, 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 that's right. But even that was, uh, that was brutal. Listen, it's a, it was a crit, they built this. No, actually, this is a different, these are different photographs than the one. These are the ones we took up in, yeah, the, yeah, up yeah. in Seattle. But the poster in the States has you covering his mouth. Oh, it's interesting. And now I'm say, suddenly yeah. realizing it's. A, but this is this is a great poster. No, it's so. good, isn't it? I love it. And that's how this, I guess the tone is set from the outset. Yeah, yeah, you bet. Um, and <clears> your <throat> character sort of seems to be the most the serious side, but also obviously has a lot of funny moments in it as well. Did you enjoy playing him? I did. Yeah. No, it was uh, it was a, a lot of fun. I um, I was a little nervous at, at first, you know. I uh, which I had no clue of it was because <laughs> it, it's a real person that well that's that, that's not even where that wasn't even the source of my of my nerves to tell you the truth because Stephen never he was he was clear from the from the onset that uh, you know that we were creating our own characters that that Phil Campbell was the real Phil Campbell and his book were sort of you know sort of templates and we were gonna create our own thing from there um, so it wasn't so much that it was just I think that it was I was doing something different Not that I didn't think I I, I could do it. I just um, I just hadn't done it in a little while and and um, and working with Steven he um, He challenges you and so um, But but the nerves quickly subsided because he he's uh, you trust him and um, and it ended up being such a great time for me. I really, really enjoyed myself working with Steven and playing this character and and um, and working with Joel. Yeah, I mean Joel, Joel and I great. Joel and I had a blast together. We 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 developed a good friendship. We really did. And he's uh, he's he's out there. He's a funny dude and on, on set we just yeah, we hit it off. It was it was a fun set. Yeah, and was, and yeah, Seattle, yeah. I mean really it was really just and it really felt Steven really created this whole vibe of of that we were on making a film at the grassroots level and and it was you know mostly indicated on my paycheck <laughs> I suppose but um, <laughs> just in case I ever forgot at any point that we were making a very very trailer? small small movie <laughs> yeah and our trailer that I think I sh shared with, like Joe was Joel had a pillow and then I had a pillow our trailers were just a pillow on the street on the curb Cool. Or just pillows. Uh, no, but it was. But it really felt like everyone in this crew, all Seattle-based local crew, uh, that Stephen was adamant about, you know, having everyone local, and and uh, it just felt like everyone was part of this process of putting this movie together, and mm. it was a really just great energy. And the weather held up that summer. Didn't well, it, it? It, it, there is a there is a stretch in Seattle when it's sunny, and and I remember they said it starts July seventh. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes until like August 14th. I was like, what? Okay. So we started shooting the beginning of July and it was overcast. And, we, and I went whatever and it was raining a little bit, not much rain. July 7th, bang, it was sunny. July 14th, we were shooting that scene on the bridge. And August, it started 14th. To rain, August 14th. August yep. 14th. Mm -hmm. And it started raining. So um, the, the, uh, the they time were absolutely just right about the weather. I mean, down to the day. Cool. It's kind of amazing, which I'll, is great about working with a local crew. Yeah. You know? Brilliant. It really comes across on the screen. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Dave, Cheers. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you too.